Odita Kuntia. I am from class 2 Stuart School, Vubanishu. Today I am going to tell you a tale from Tanzania. Good Friends. The story name is Good Friends by John Kilaka. Once upon a time in a, in a forest, there lived a rat. And the rat knew how to make fire. In the morning, all the animals would gather, would gather around rat's house and rat's house and wait for him to come out and make fire for them. Rat would rub a special stick and give them some fire to make their breakfast. So every day the animals would gather and and take fire from the rat. One day, rat was storing some grain in his house because there will be no rains. Now the rainy season had come. He was just storing all the grains. Then, on the other side, the elephant was rat's best friend. He lived. He he was the neighbor of rat. He he lived. Jen, and he lived near his house and the elephant did not want to walk. He just wanted to sit outside his house and relax. Then one day when elephant's house got empty and he had not anything to eat, so he went to the rat and asked rat for some grain and asked some for grain. The rat said, Oh, I don't want to share the grain. I have to store them. Then the elephant said, You see, you, you aren't worried about the thieves. Your house has no walls. My house has walls. It has a door, but you, but your house hasn't a door. Then my house, in my house, I will keep your grain stored. Very safe inside my house it will be. And you won't worry about tips. They will come and, and they will steal your grains. Then the rat thought for a while and then said, Okay, you take all the grains and keep it safe inside your house. The rat said to the elephant. And the elephant took the grains then went away to his house. After some day, there came no rents and the and there was no food for rat so he went to the elephant's house to to uh, take some grains for him to eat because he had told elephant that to that he will keep his the elephant had told the rat that he will keep his grain safe inside his house so the rat went to the elephant's house and then when he asked for the grains, the elephant said, You have a tiny stomach and I have a big stomach. I, I need many food. And you can even live without a tiny bit of grain also. Then the rat said, What a friend you are. Where well, I told you to keep your to keep my grains stored in your safe in your house and you are not giving me my grains? Then the elephant said, Now go away from my house and just and just leave me alone. I want to relax. Then the rat became very angry and left the village and left the jungle. And now the elephant was a little bit scared that because the rat had left uh, left away, but sometimes if but if the rat would come, he would he would burn now burn down his house. Then the next morning, all the animals gathered around rat's house and wait for him to come. But the rat didn't come. And then the elephant came and bowed his head down and said, Sorry, the rat cannot come here today. 
Then the giraffe asked why he cannot come. Why he cannot come? He can he will make fire for us and give us some. Then the elephant bowed down and said what had happened. Now the and the elephant also said that someone please help me. Say help me to guard my house from rat. But if I will not guard my house, then rat will come and burn down my house. Then all the animals get very angry and they said we will not help you. Now the elephant went down to the lion. He was the king of the jungle. And when he asked lion about about the rat and uh, if he will help him guard his house about he asked and the lion said I am not afraid of anything but I am afraid of fire so I cannot help you. Then the elephant was very sad and that night he sat up on a tree he sat down on a tree and watched for the rat he guard he guarded his house and and then suddenly he the and then he was he was sitting there he he fell asleep and he he dreamt that rats and his friends were chasing him with torches with fire torches and were scaring them and the elephant fall down from the tree and his leg broke. Now he could not go and now he cannot also walk. The next day he went trembling to the hospital. Then the doctor then the doctor put patches and bandage on him and then Give him a stick to walk. The elephant searched for the rats many, many, many days. But he couldn't find. One day he was searching for rat. He saw tiny footprints. He thought that it would be rat's footprints. And then he saw, he followed the footprints and saw that it was a bird's footprint. Then he became very sad and searched and searched. My, meanwhile, the rat came back to his village. A very hungry rat came back to his village. And when the animals saw the rat, they were very happy. And then the then they told about what elephant. Then they told about the elephant that he had gone out searching for you. The, the animals told the rat and the rat went to the elephant's house and brought all the grains from the elephant's house. And after a couple of weeks, after a couple of days, the, a hungry and tired elephant came back to the village. He saw rat and was very happy. And their two friends lived happily ever after. Thank you. Have a nice day.